Thank you for purchasing the Tropic Color Mix Media Transition Pack. In this video, I'm going to show you a few pointers on how to use them. So when you download the file, you are going to find three folders inside. You have the After Effects project file, you have the Tin Milgur transitions, and then you have these paper textures. If you open up the textures folder, you will find 27 unique paper textures inside that you can use for your video and photos to add extra grit to your project. I've even included the After Effects project file to give you a little bit more flexibility to switch out the timing of these transitions to better fit your projects. So let me show you how to install these Mogurts. You're gonna to wanna to open up Premiere Pro and you're gonna to wanna to toggle on the Essential Graphics panel. If you do not see this, you'll go up to Window and then click on Essential Graphics. And this panel on the side will pop up. And installing them is as easy as opening up your Mogurts copying all of them and then dragging and dropping them straight into your panel. The cool thing about these Mogur files is you can hover over the transitions and see a little preview of what these are gonna look like. Let me show you how to use one of these. So for this sequence, I have two clips back to back, nothing special. Well, let's spice it up a little bit. Let's grab this mixed media transition number two and we're gonna add it on top of our timeline. These Mogur files were made for 4K timelines, but I'm working in a 1080p sequence, so I'm gonna lower the scale down by 50%. So for these transitions, what I like to do is I like to go to the last frame right before the transition, and I like to take a screenshot. To do that, you can go over here and press this camera button, which will take a screenshot. You can name it, but make sure that this import into project is clicked. Press OK, and it's gonna add a write it into your project. If you do not see this camera button, press this little plus button and then you can toggle it on right there. So make sure that you have this transition highlighted and then in your essential graphics panel on the edit tab, you will just drag and drop your screenshot straight into this transition. So before, this is what our project looked like. And now after, this is what it looks like. The cool thing about these transitions is you can actually drag and drop photo or video into this little window. Let me show you how to use another one. So here's my next sequence that I'm going to be working with. Two shots back to back, but I want to add some more energy to it. So for this, I'm going to use transition number five. I'm going to drag and drop it onto this timeline. Again, I'm going to scale it down by 50% since I'm working in a 1080p timeline. But for this one, this transition adds a few extra frames inside. So what I'm going to do is move my second clip over to the end and sandwich this transition. Again, what I like to do is I like to go to the very last frame, take a screenshot. So for photo one, I'm going to grab that first screenshot, drag it in. And then I'm going to go over to the second clip I have and take a screenshot of that very first frame Make sure that the transition is highlighted and then move over to photo four and drag and drop it into there. So for photo two, I'm going to drag and drop the shot right here of the shoe. And then for this photo three, add another shot. Let me just minimize these to clean up my window. You can also see on this transition five that there's a marker tab. If you expand this open, you can toggle on and off this marker if you don't like it. You can actually change the color. Let's actually change it to a blue to match the shoe. Uh, make a little bit more saturated. Press OK. Uh, we're going to even rotate it around. Scale it down a little bit so it's just circling the hover. OK. So here's what our transition looks after. Nice. A cool thing about these Mogur files is that not only can you use them for 9x16, but you can use them for 16x9 as well. So I'm going to use this transition number 10, and I'm going to drag it onto my timeline. Again, I'm working in a 1080p timeline, so I'm going to scale it down by 50%. And then all you have to do is rotate it by 90 degrees. So for this transition, I like to go to the first frame of the second clip and take a screenshot. Again, press OK. Make sure that your transition is highlighted, and then we're gonna drag and drop it on. But as you can see here, the image is rotated. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually just rotate it by negative 90 degrees, 
but this also seems a little bigger than this image. So then just scale it down to, let's say 200, that looks about right. Perfect. So here's what the transition looks like now. Another thing that I also like to do with some of these transitions is scroll down a few frames and we're gonna take a screenshot here, add it in, drag and drop that into our timeline. Again, we're gonna scale it down to maybe 200% and then rotate it by negative 90. And then it kind of gives a little time hop which adds a nice little energy to our project. I hope this tutorial was useful and I hope these transitions help save some time on your edits.